First Handling and Medicine for Diarrhea for Babies. When a baby has diarrhea, avoid giving it over-the-counter diarrhea medicines. Diarrhea medicine for babies should not be given carelessly because it can endanger their health. Normal baby stools are softer than adults. In addition, the frequency of defecation, BAB, in infants can also be more frequent. Babies who only get breast milk can defecate 3 to 12 times a day. This frequency will decrease after entering the age of 6 to 8 weeks. A baby is said to have diarrhea if he defecates more often suddenly with a watery stool texture. Diarrhea in infants can also be identified by the color of the baby's stool, which is greener or darker than usual and smells bad. In more serious conditions, baby stools can be accompanied by mucus or blood. Causes of diarrhea in babies Diarrhea in infants usually does not last long and can heal by itself. The following are some conditions that can cause diarrhea in infants. Viral, bacterial or parasitic infections. Changes in the baby's diet or changes in the mother's diet if breastfeeding. Consumption of antibiotics by infants or by nursing mothers. Rare diseases such as cystic fibrosis. Lactose intolerance. In babies who are already getting posse, diarrhea can be caused by food allergies or food poisoning. Treatment and medicine for diarrhea for babies. When experiencing diarrhea, babies will lose more fluids, so they are prone to dehydration. Dehydration in infants and children can occur quickly. The following are signs of dehydration in babies to watch out for. Urinating less often than usual dry mouth and lips no tears when crying the eyes and fontanelle appear sunken dry and inelastic skin after pinching weak and fussy the main treatment for diarrhea in infants is to keep the baby hydrated the following are treatments and medicines for diarrhea for babies that fathers and mothers can give one giving breast milk diarrhea in babies especially babies under six months old, can be overcome by giving him more breast milk. The nutrients in breast milk are easily absorbed by the baby's body, so it can meet nutritional needs and restore lost baby body fluids. In addition, the antibodies contained in breast milk can help babies fight infectious agents and boost immunity. If the baby consumes formula milk, keep giving him formula milk at the usual rate unless the doctor gives other suggestions. 2. Give ORS. In infants over 6 months of age, breastfeeding can be continued interspersed with giving electrolyte fluids, such as ORS. Give ORS as much as 2 tablespoons or 30 milliliters, every 30 to 60 minutes. If the baby vomits, give ORS gradually, starting at 1 teaspoon or 5 milliliters every 10 to 15 minutes. Hold off on giving solid food when the baby is still nauseous and vomiting. 3. Provide zinc supplements. The World Health Organization, WHO, recommends zinc supplementation of 20 mg slash day for 10 to 14 days as a diarrhea remedy for infants 0 to 6 months, especially those with acute diarrhea. According to research, Zinc supplementation can reduce the severity of the disease and the frequency of bowel movements during diarrhea. In addition, giving zinc supplementation can also increase immunity and digestive function in children who experience diarrhea. However, the doctor may suggest a different dose according to the child's age or the condition of the diarrhea he is suffering from. To determine the dosage of zinc as a diarrhea medicine for babies, 
fathers or mothers can first consult with a pediatrician. 4. Provide probiotics. Probiotics are a group of good bacteria that help protect and maintain a healthy digestive system. Several studies have shown that giving probiotics can support the healing process and speed up the recovery of babies who experience diarrhea. Fathers and mothers can give some foods rich in probiotics to children who have started complementary foods, such as yogurt and tempeh. In addition, probiotics are also available in supplement form which can be given as a diarrhea medicine for babies. 5. Give antibiotics. The use of antibiotics as a diarrhea medicine for babies must be under the supervision of a doctor. This is because diarrhea in infants and children generally does not need antibiotics. Antibiotics are only effective for diarrhea caused by a bacterial infection. Meanwhile, if it is caused by a parasitic infection, the doctor can prescribe the appropriate antiparasitic medication. Giving antibiotics that are not appropriate can cause side effects, make bacteria resistant to these drugs, and can even cause diarrhea in infants. That's the treatment and medicine for diarrhea for babies that mom and dad can give. If your little one has diarrhea that doesn't go away within two days, gets worse, or is accompanied by blood, mucus, or pus bowel movements, immediately consult your little one to the doctor.